Now we are discussing on environmental aspect impact. In this session, I am going to discuss with you nine main slides. These are on list of common environmental aspect, aspect identification techniques. Then the third topic on the steps for aspect identification, how one can identify the aspects. The fourth one is on examples or for relationships between activity, aspect, impact and the effect. Fifth one is significant aspect. Sixth one, we are going to discuss with you evaluation techniques for the significant aspect. Two different models used in the industry is discussed. Seventh topic is on environmental objectives and targets, which are the different objectives and targets and what should be included in the objectives and targets. So eighth one, we are going to discuss with you on the inputs for the objectives. And ninth one is based on our rich experience of ISO 14001 consultancy, we are explaining various examples of environmental objectives and targets. Let me now explain you more commonly used popular method of evaluating the significant criteria that is on the basis of the six environmental criteria points that are quantity, frequency, the third thing is a violation of legal requirement. This three thing is the same common as we have discussed in the previous slide of evaluation method two, uh, method one. But the other three additional point is the severity, how much severe it is to the human life. Then control, are we having the control or it is totally absent. And the last one is likelihood of detection, how fast we will detect such situation. So these points are evaluated from one to four scale. So quantity, frequency and violation of legal requirement is same as method number one. Now I will be discussing with you D, E and F that is severity. Severity is if that activity or uh, the point is affecting the human life, fatal to the human life, then you have to give the rating of four. But if it is having a negligible effect or nearly missed accident, which can be uh, uh, controlled with the help of first aid, then the point is one. Similarly control, if there is no control established or no effective control, then it is point. But if the control is evident fully, then the multiplication factor is one. And the last one is likelihood of detection is F. If you can detect such situation within 24 hours, means it is having the impact on within 24 hours, then it is having the highly impact that is a uh, rates are four, but you can immediately detect it, then it is one because uh, then the impact to the environment will be very, very less. So your significance factor in this case is multiplication of all these six points means A multiplied by B multiplied by C multiplied by D multiplied by E and F. So in this situation, highly significant is considered as a more than 300 and if your total rating is more than 300, then you need to establish environment management plans. Significant, if it is between 101 to 300, then it is considered as a significant, you have to establish either standard operating procedure or plant design controls or use of PPE. And if it is between 0 to 100 means less than 100, then it is less significant. 